shall we begin? MuscleSportMag.com presents... Wait, 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 wait! Joe Pietaro here with Greg Valentino. Finally, Muscle Sport TV. Greg, how many fucking years have we been talking about this? Dude, let me tell you something. I can't believe I'm fucking Long Island. Bro, you know what it takes to come here? Dude, I'm, spit- I'm sorry. I'm spitting all over the microphone because I just had a fucking protein bar that's got like fucking nuts in it. Anyway, <laughs> so look, there's like little, look, there's little nuts stuck in a gut, like in a, in, a, in a thing. Anyway, dude, Long Island. Holy fuck. What a ride down here. But we got it. We've been doing this since I was with MD. We're supposed to do this show. Even ask my boy right there, Jimmy the Bull. How many times have we got our dick pulled by Steve Blackman? Greg and I have been talking about doing a video show like this since I think 08 or 09. Long fucking time. Well, it's 2016. It's about time that we got our asses and the shit together on this. Greg, not only is this the pilot episode of the whole network, Muscle Sport TV network. There you go. Greg and Joe TV, this is working titles right now. Mm -hmm. We also got two other programs, a shitload of sports and locker room talk. Obviously, the sports show is going to be sports. Locker room talk is going to be kind of a mainstream guys kind of show. We should get Donald Trump for that, right? Hopefully the president Donald Trump for that. But man, I tell you, it's been a long fucking time. Greg's the managing editor of Muscle Sport Magazine. I'm the publisher. And right here, 32 bucks a year, subscribe, free U.S. shipping, Check it out. We got some good shit in there. We got two guests for you guys tonight on our first, <laughs> our first episode tonight. Jimmy the Bull Pelletia and Tina La Titan Wilson. So we got a guy and a girl, Greg. Tina's looking hot and jacked. Yes. By the way. Ab- abs are fucking lootly, bro. Tina's looking hot and jacked. And Jimmy is my brother, bro. Look at him. Look at him sitting over. He's dying. Hot and J- Jimmy looks hot and jacked. Let me tell you, Jimmy always is jacked. He'll fucking be under the table pushing the thing up. The strongest guy fucking alive. It's whoever lived right there. Jimmy the Bull. But I got to also say, there was one other person that we haven't introduced yet. He's actually behind the camera right now, but he's going to be in front of the camera in a little bit. Jeff, the producer, is now part of Muscle Sport Mag. Bullshit! Muscle Sport Wait, TV. I thought that was Robbie Duran. <laughs> <laughs> I, we got to get Robbie Duran. Maybe we go, we'll we Skype Robbie. We'll I love Skype Robbie. Robbie. Robbie's the we fucking will, best. We will Skype Robbie. We'll and Skype if Robbie him. can't do it, Jeff will do it. Jeff will do it. But Holy I tell you, Christ. Greg... How good does it feel to finally get this fucking thing rolling, bro? If, I mean, dude, eight years. Uh, no, wait, eight, eight years we've yeah, been doing seven, this. seven, eight years we've been eight trying years. to do Holy this. Holy fuck, bro. Holy crap. I, I, I remember having dinner with Jimmy the Bull in uh, Little Italy because we were trying to do this shit. Because yeah. Steve Black. Dude, that was. Uh, it was like 2010, uh, that yeah, fucking. No, it was 2009. Cause yeah, Ga- yeah, dude, <laughs> actually, J- Gary, got arre- Gary got arrested. I actually have it. We got we to put that on yeah, our yeah. site. Dude, we gotta put the dude. That was an unbelievable. Video. That was funny. That one. We yeah. gotta, we gotta, we we should, you know, because it's, it's mine. You know what I mean? But we did it for Blackman, but he never picked up. He don't want to pay for shit. But anyway, we'll be hearing from him shortly. By the way, <laughs> next segment. Yeah, he, he might actually want a job, Joe. Maybe you might have to give him a job. We'll I mean, get to that. Yes, <laughs> that is on tap as we speak, folks. I don't know. According to Jimmy the Bull, the world is all flat. Oh, we'll Jim- get into that. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> folks, Jimmy the Bull brought a fucking globe with him. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting. You know what? It's a little fucking geography lesson or something. I'll tell you. Uh, it, it, whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be fucking funny. I'm surprised you didn't bring a guitar. Next time. I thought about that. I was. The situation. I don't know how, how the situation. Not, nah. No, no, dude, dude, listen, you know. Next time, brothers, Jimmy's bro. going to fucking, anytime. he's going to be fucking Dude, playing I, I, the guitar. I spotted Jimmy. I swear to God. I, I, I don't remember. It was 800 pounds. I don't remember how much weight it was. But I remember shit in my pants because we were on stage. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> what show. It might have been a woman's extravaganza. Do you remember that? And yeah. And you were doing Bob Bottoms, woman's extravaganza. And he, he was doing, I think it was reverse bench. And I was like, please, God, please. Because I knew that if, I mean, you, you know, you got it. You, you did it. But I was like, holy fuck, if he doesn't do this, I'm fucked. 
because there's no way I'm going to be able to budge that weight. I'm spitting like a, you know, I'm Italian, so I spit when I talk. But it, well, I, that know. gravy's coming out of your nah, mouth, dude, right? You know you, no, you, you we'll me, get to that too. Uh, I got Joe that coming me, out. Joe gave me a pro. I was hoping he was going to give me like a fucking meatball wedge or something. But he gave me a, he gave, <laughs> he gave me a fucking protein bar with nuts in it. Now you know how that shit is for fucking twenty minutes. I'm going to be, a, you know what I mean? Greg, what I mean, what are the viewers going to expect? They don't know. Like Greg and Joe, what is? The, we have a phrase that we've coined called bodybuilding entertainment. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> it's, it, that's what Jimmy does. That's what we've all been. Dude, listen, it's just going to be the lighter I'm side of my. <laughs> you see that? You see, the powerlifters were afraid of him. That's why. Because this fucking guy. Why. Well, no, he, I mean, he didn't just bench press or squat. He did everything heavy. They can't hear you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I would. Uh, let me tell you something. Jimmy Pelletia, definitely. I mean, he, he used to lift more weight than any fucking time. I mean, the guy, uh, he would do a freaking, uh, what is it, fucking tricep kickbacks with like fucking 200 pound dumbbells. You know, I mean, nobody fucking, I mean, I'd be over there with a 15. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that was, he was actually pushing more weight behind his back with a kickback than he was with the fucking, uh, than he weighed. So it was more weight than he weighed. Anyway, listen, we're not going to cover bodybuilding shows. We, we don't want to do that shit, Joe. That's not our that's not our thing. So if you're watching this to talk about, you know, like cover bodybuilding shows or see who won the Olympia, we don't give a shit about that. You know, we're, we're going to do bodybuilding entertainment and we're going to sit here and we're going to give you guys kind of what you want, the lighter side of bodybuilding, you know, the more fun shit and the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, you know, and that's our thing. Obviously, we're going to talk about, uh, as he's spitting out, that protein bars, nut. The lighter Christ. side of bodybuilding, but also like the steroid side of bodybuilding, and even that that dirty erotic side of bodybuilding. That's the kind of shit that I can't. The dirty wait to erotic. Talk. Side. The dirty erotic. The dirty oh, erotic side of bodybuilding. Oh my god, we're gonna hear some good shit then. Huh? <laughs> we gotta hear our story. The only Fuck me and Joe. <laughs> 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 the only skinless chicken that we're going to be talking about is the kind you heat up for half a minute in a microwave and stick your cock in because it feels like a real oh, pussy. Oh, That's the oh, only fucking skinless chicken oh, we're going to be talking about. It? I'm sweating here now. I'm sweating too. We're Holy under the lights. Can... Jeff's got this fucking equipment. I love it. Did somebody call Donald Trump? No. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen. So, by the way, I, do anybody out there that doesn't vote for him, I don't give. I don't want to get technical, you know. But come on. Fuck, do you want four more years of this bullshit going on? Disgracia, no fucking way. Yeah, anyway. Let's take a quick break. We're going to be right back after this message. Greg, T. Michael, they got everything on this fucking site. T-M-I-C-H-E-A-L. Look at these great shirts. My friend Joe Cavelli sent me. They got tees, tanks, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hoodies, camo, tights. I don't swear you <laughs> They got everything. Gloves, belts, shoes, everything you want. Hoodies, whatever you want at T. Michael, T C M C C. T M I C H E A L dot com. Go there, tell them you heard it here first on Muscle Sport TV. Hey, Greg, you know that we're over here at Muscle Sport TV. We're huge supporters of our police. And here's my friends over at I am Protect, mm, the letter N, lift.com for the latest fitness apparel that represents police, fire, EMS, and the military. Greg's son. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Being safe and fit is their number one goal. Their slogan is, stay fit, stay safe. That's I am protect, the letter N, lift.com. <laughs> Hi, this is Lee Priest, and you're watching Greg and Joe on Muscle Sport TV. Can you believe they're on Muscle Sport TV? Greg and Joe. What about Lee and Joe? Lee and Greg. I used to record you. Okay. And welcome back to Muscle Sport TV, Greg and Joe TV. Greg, I don't know. I, I went out to use the bathroom quick and somebody took my chair, but at least I got it back now. Uh, we, we got You got rid of that guy, right? Uh, I'll tell you what. He's sitting right here and it's my 
boy. No, I was talking about black men, my friend. Oh, that guy. Greg, thanks for having me on. I, I can't believe it. You and Joe, I thought I, I thought I'd seen the last of you guys. I fired your fucking asses in 2014, and you're still fucking breathing. You fired me with a text message, too. And by the way, you fired Jimmy the Bull over here with a fucking email. He's over here. He's ready to kick your fucking ass. Jimmy, I'll take you out for a steak dinner and a little red wine. It'll be all well. <laughs> Anywhere you like. You call it, I'll pay it. <laughs> but you know something? A lot of people have been saying muscular development is a sinking ship. The, that Joe calls it the SSY cutback, and I'm the captain of it. You know what? Uh, Joe's right, though, because... You know, why cut back? We're growing and you're shrinking. You see this fucking thing? Look at that. Okay? What, what happened with MD, bro? Actually, wait a minute. MD is only 10 issues a year now. You know why? Because why? 10 issues matter. It was 12 issues matter, but I don't tell anybody that. I told those asshole fucking web guys to take that article off and we put 12 issues matter. You you know what? You, you need to hire us back. That's what you need to no, do. No, no, Greg. You yeah, know, you know why? What? Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. Because I'll give you... Oh, the... I need... <laughs> back to the old days. You well, know, holy shit. Do I get my job back? <laughs> muscular development is no bull. No bull. Yeah, that, I they... got skull cap on the website. He's running shows. He does interviews. <laughs> and he, that, that, uh, that kid, they call him a fanboy. My ass. He's the greatest fucking editor-in-chief I ever had since Adina. Wait, he's a fanboy of your ass? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. I got rid of Adina for him. I bet you did. I've always heard you got rid of girls for guys. You know why? Because black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! He got out, but Wait. somebody better took he, the other chair. He, he's under the table. <laughs> he's under the table. Um... I missed, I totally fucked that whole lead up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, I'm still spitting fucking still spitting. here. But, but you know what? We got somebody very fucking special sitting to Greg's left. It is Jimmy the Bull Paleccia. Jimmy, are you, are you enjoying that magazine that you picked up? Well, it's the first time I've seen it. So, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm, you know, when I'm not fucking start? surprised. When did this thing actually start? That's what I want to know. The Two, magazine. 2008. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Where have you been hiding? Yeah. No, fuck it. I'm, I was up in the mountains with, with the <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's all steroid shit, bro. It's yeah. Good. It's so good. you finally, what I wanted to say saying earlier is that we finally got this guy out of the fucking mountains after 30 years, you know, maybe 25 years. Uh, I'll give him a little extra. You know. He comes to Long Island to tape RX Muscle, now to tape this, and to eat Blackman's free steaks. Well, no more. No more. No more. And I, lobster. I, I ate his steak, all right. But listen, I got it. <laughs> And the, and the lobsters. This is my boy. Listen, I got to tell you something. This is the strongest motherfucker and the wine. ever. <laughs> the, 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 I don't drink wine, but you and him could pound it down. I know that. Jeff, don't can I move good. this thing a little bit? I mean, it's, it's very close. Can I just like a, a yeah, hair, you know, just right. like, you, you know. Throw it on the floor. How's that, all right? Throw it on the floor, Jeff. <laughs> all right. All right, listen. I got to tell you something. This is the strongest fucking body. It's, this guy is so strong that other people in the industry used to hate him because he would walk in a gym and, 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 and put up weights there. I mean, this guy could bench a thousand pounds. And I'm not kidding you. Google Jimmy the Bull Palaccia. I'll let him tell Jim, what, what was it? Like, why did fucking guys always like, was it jealousy? What was it with powerlifters, bodybuilders? What was it with you? I, I, I got to say, it was it was a jealousy type thing. It was, because what happened was, uh, when I got involved in the sport, right. I, I didn't even really plan on getting involved in the sport. But I did. Uh, like a number of things happened, you know, unfolded. But uh, you know, I was I had a lot of strength, and I and I and I was two nineteen and a ten percent body fat, you know. So, uh, you know, the bodybuilders were, you know, when I was getting popularity, the bodybuilders didn't like me because I was getting a lot of attention, and then I was pushing a lot of weight. So the powerlifters were hating me because I was getting you know attention from both spectrums. You know, right. so they used to they used to you know like get on me and say, ah, you know what could what could you know what could the bull do? You know he can't. Uh, you know what's his what's his real record? You know what's his real numbers? You know all that eight hundred nine hundred bullshit. You know with a spotter. You know what could he really do? You know and everybody used to say, yo Jimmy man, why don't you go for the record? Shut these motherfuckers up. You know, I, I said I'm not going to give these guys a real number. Why am I going to give them? Let them fucking do what I do. Let them get on the eight nine hundred with a spotter. You know a friend spot him. Let them let them do that. Why the fuck I got to come down to their level? I'm not going to give them. So then I used to tell my friends in the song because they used to ask me, they said, Jimmy, why can we never, you know, why can we not give them the real number? And I said, listen, bro, 
All right. I'm not going to fucking do a world record, whatever the fuck it is, 700 or whatever the fuck you know, I could do legit, right? Give them a real number <coughs> and then I'm fucked, right? Because now I gave them a real number. And so now I could do 1,500. It don't fucking matter because in competition, I was only good for 755. Right. Right. So now, I'm, now I screwed myself. Right. So I said, fuck that. I never did that. I kept doing what I was doing because people couldn't do what I was doing at that time. So I just kept that momentum going. And I just, you know, people just, I was a, a constant fight. People hate me. Did you ever get any fights over it? Like in the gym, like, guys, yeah. ah, you get it. No, not really. But, you know, I, I used to get shit through the magazines. Like, I used to have power lifts. I, I'll never forget this one guy. I forget his name. He was down south. He was a big dude. He was a power lifter. Right. He took the magazine that I was on and he was ripping it in half. You know, saying, oh, I am bullshit. That was the end. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Now, let me tell you something. So, That's the wrong guy to do it to. Because I know a million fight stories with this guy right here. And we, I, we'd, we'd have to do a whole show just on that. But so did you ever. Uh, so, you know, but I used to tell these guys. I used to say, listen, man. You know, I was friends with a lot of, a lot of, a lot of you know, Ed Cohn, yeah. Anthony Clark. Right. You know, these, you know, Chris, uh, Chris Confessori. You know, these were respected, you know. Bill Kazmaier, for crying out loud. Know, you know, these guys, I know these guys, you know, they had respect for me. They, they knew what I was doing. You know, they were smart enough to, you know, you know, see where I was going with it. What I was doing was I was bringing excitement to, you know, the powerlifting and the bodybuilding. You know, so I used to tell these guys, what's wrong with these guys, man? But powerlifting is boring as hell. I mean, I, I, I know, like, guys that have records and stuff like that. They win the record and that's yeah. it. They don't get contracts. They don't get shit. It was, it's boring. I, I, I used to go to powerlifting meets in the beginning, right? And I used to sit there all because I used to open up with four and change, right? So I used to sit in the in the gym or wherever the fuck we were all fucking day because they were going up by five, you know, five pound increments <laughs> for fucking 135 pounds. I was there from the morning till the fucking 40. And by the time I had a bench, I was exhausted from sitting in the fucking the, the gym all day waiting for them to get up to 400 pounds so I could do it. I, you know, I wanted to leave, you know? And then it was like a circus act with a lot of these places, you know. I, you, you ever see uh, Shrek? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, one time I was up I, for Metrics. I did a uh, an appearance in Albany, right? <laughs> you, you ever been up in Albany? You've probably been, you probably, Dude, you, I, yeah, been right. up in Albany. All right, so, I, so it was this little gym in Albany, right? Like a little shithole gym. Whatever. I've been in a lot of shitholes. I like shitholes, actually. Me too. So <laughs> I go in this shithole, and I'm looking around, and I'm doing like a, uh, an appearance there. I wasn't lifting just, you know, at the event, you know? And uh, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, this, these, you know, it's like every freak in the town was lifting, you know, whatever right. the fuck they could lift, right? So, you know, it was it was a show, bro. It really all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, and I guess they got to this guy's weight that he was going to open up with. I think it was right. 195 or something, whatever. This guy walked in. He looked like fucking Lord Farquhar. In the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you, man. He had the spandex up to his knees with the black shoes, the hat with the fucking feather. Hey, you fucking count Malachi. Yeah, are you serious? Yeah, I, you know, I come walking in I'm, and I'm, I'm sitting there, you know, all day, you know, I'm bored out of my mind. You know, but I had respect. You know, I'm not going to say I didn't have respect. You know, I have right, respect for the, right. you know, what they're doing. You know, You're a respectful guy. Yeah, I'm respectful, you know. And then all of a sudden, when I, when I saw Lord Fartquart, <laughs> all right, and I was there all day, bored out of my fucking mind, oh. starving, right? <laughs> and this guy come walking in. I busted out laughing in the fucking place. <laughs> So everybody was looking at me. Uh, I couldn't stop laughing, you know, because whatever. Was you know, he yeah, yeah. Was the <laughs> it was just a fucking weird. Like Albany's just a fucking weird town, bro. It's just <laughs> well, I got Christ. lost getting to the place, right? And I was fucking asking, I, I was there, pulling too, over, asking for directions. I was getting yelled at. What are you doing here, you motherfucker? <laughs> you fucking they guinea motherfucker. shit at me in my car. Go and back I to the city. Out my window. I said, yo, I'm just lost. I'm asking where this fucking place. Get the fuck out of here. You don't belong here. You fucking throwing shit at me. Like, it, was, it was like fucking <laughs> Vietnam over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, so I finally got to the gym. I didn't want to leave the fucking gym anymore because the fucking neighborhood was unsafe. So I said, let me stay here. I'm safe here. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's why yeah, I was yeah. starving. I was I wanted to go get something deep. I didn't want to leave, go to the streets. <laughs> you know what I mean? My girlfriend says I look like Shrek. But anyway, go on. So anyway, that's what happens. I was at this event all fucking day. And uh, you know, and when Lord Fartquart came in, man, that was the end of it. I just lost it, man. You know. <laughs> so I, I ended up leaving, you know. But uh You wait. You left, you didn't you didn't lift? No, I didn't lift. I was just doing I was just doing it basically uh, you know, an appearance oh. for the company, you know. So that's what I you know. All right, we just gotta yeah. wait, we're gonna hold that thought because he's he's tapping me. Go ahead. I'm gonna tap your fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
We're gonna go to a quick break. We come back. I want to hear how Lord Fontenot did in this fucking meet, though. We'll be right back after this quick break. Muscle Sport TV, Greg and Joe. Greg, I love Ejaculoid by GoliathLabs.com. And that's not just saying it because they fucking paid for this commercial. Let me tell you something. I use this stuff, and when I fucking come, holy Toledo. I'd really like to hear more about it. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me a massive raging fucking heart on, and I fucking come in courts from this stuff. I swear to fucking Christ, it is no bullshit. It's 100% natural. It supports your sex drive. And it's natural testosterone support. It promotes strong blood flow. Like I said, the massive heart on. And it also supports volume of ejaculate, Greg. That means you shoot a big fucking load. So, <laughs> be careful. If you fucking don't want to swallow, you're going to be fucking choking on it. Check these guys out right now today. GoliathLabs.com <laughs> Greg, these are... It's a very different type of uh, product we got going on here. It's theliquidrecovery.com. It was really made so guys recovering from drug and alcohol abuse had like good fitness and stuff like that they can use. But you don't have to be a fucking recovering addict to use this stuff. Mm -hmm. Leading a healthy lifestyle is the main thing. It can, can be extremely difficult task, especially if you're recovering from this drug and alcohol abuse. Struggling with low energy or having trouble falling asleep, there's AM and PM formulas, white and black, right? Check them out at theliquidrecovery.com today. Muscle and Motion Strength Training, your professional app for advanced knowledge of muscular movement and exercise. Learn crucial nuances for every exercise through our unique library of educational videos. Stunning 3D animations highlight exactly which muscles are being used and how. Receive ongoing free updates all in one subscription. Sign up now to get free access to Muscle and Motion. Muscle and Motion. More knowledge, more power. What's going on, everybody? That's right, it's your boy, the seven foot, 330 pound, former WWE superstar, former TNA champion, the blueprint, Matt Morgan. Former American Gladiator, the beast. And I'm pretty positive that covers all my gimmick and pseudo names. But nonetheless, guys, you're tuning in right now to Muscle Sport TV. The realest of the real. No filler, no fluff, no cookie cutter crap. No, has to have a happy ending in order for us to produce this show. None of that mess. Instead, what you're about to tune into is shows that are going to make a lot of athletes nervous out there. A lot of athletes butt hurt out there. And a lot of athletes really pissed off. But guess what? I don't give a shit. It's about to be a bumpy ride. I suggest you buckle up. And we're back here at Muscle Sport TV with Jimmy DeBull, Palatia, telling us about this powerlifting meet, but... While we were in the break, you brought up a, a, a plane ride story that we got yeah, from Utica. Here. What happened was, you know, when I did the whole orbit, it, remind, it reminded me of Utica, right? So uh, years ago, uh, I was signing, I was getting ready to sign a contract with Dave McCabe. So we're making a lot, before I get into that story about the plane ride up there, uh, I shot this ad that I I, I got to get a hold of Dave see if he can get this ad. It was it was a he remember he, he came out with that chicken that protein chicken drink. Oh, remember I that? remember something like that. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a. It, was, it doesn't sound fucking yeah. good, man. So listen to this, right? So it was called uh, uh, a protein. You know, so the ad was I dressed up in a chicken suit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shit. Dave's got it somewhere, and it's the ad says, "Don't choke your chicken." And I'm holding this fucking thing, oh, right? You know, and I'm, I got this fucking giant chicken suit on, right? So anyway, when I was flying up there in the, in the beginning, when Dave first started that company, right? And I'm fly, I took a flight. They goes, fly up, fly up. So I went out of McGaugh at the airport. I took a little fucking puddle fucking jumper. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the audio. I don't know what it was. It was like a two-seater. Right? It was the middle of the winter, right? Right. So I get on this fucking plane. It's me and this old lady. She's like 95, right? <laughs> So I get on. Yeah, you had to actually duck to get in the fucking. It was one of those planes, right? <laughs> I'm not bullshit. I, I get on the plane. I, I got, I'm close to phobic as it begins. You know, I can't be. Yeah, me too, bro. I, I can't be trapped. I don't even like elevators. I take stairs and shit. I'm fucked up. So I get on the plane, <laughs> and, I, and, I'm, and, and the plane had like the, the floor had fucking you know like dips and shit in it, right? And it was a seat here and a seat over here, 
maybe like six seats, eight seats. Right? So I, I'm crawling in the fucking plane. I sit in the fucking seat. I'm against the fucking wall. The lady's over here, the 95 year old lady, right? The fucking plane takes off. Right. Wait, is it just two passengers on this fucking plane? That's it, me and the old lady. You and the old lady. And the pilots <laughs> were with us too because the, the fucking pilots, the seats were right there. So I'm watching them talk. They got the things on, you know, they, I'm seeing yeah. all the instruments. I'm right I'm behind the seats. I'm, they're, they're flying. I'm right behind them, right? <laughs> so I'm like, this is, this is going to be fucking get bad, close. right? So I get up in the fucking plane, they fly up, you know, I go up over the fucking Long Island South, Connecticut, they're heading up, right? All of a sudden, a snowstorm hits. Oh, nice. A blizzard. Just when you're fucking... Man. A fucking blizzard, right? Oh, fuck. So now, I'm on the plane. And the fucking those little planes, you feel any oh, like man. a roller coaster. Bro. <laughs> I, I've been on yeah. one. It, dude, Look, you shit your pants. So you shit your the pants fucking plane is you know chopping and fly, you know, and bouncing. I'm like, dude, well, this is. I said, I'm not gonna make it, right? <laughs> so I said, let me keep my eye on the pilots because if they get nervous, then <laughs> I know I gotta get nervous, right? If I see them panicking and going for the fucking you know the instruments and shit, but they were like calm, talking, you know, bullshit, you know. So I'm, so I'm looking at them. I'm going, all right, you know, you know. Then I look at the old lady. I go, she don't give a fuck. She's 95. <laughs> the fuck does she care if she fucking died? What am I looking at her for? I figured if I look at her, she looks nervous. I'll get nervous, but she's 95. She ain't nervous. She's probably hoping the motherfucker goes down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now we're starting to descend into Utica, right? So the plane's going down. I'm watching the motherfucking dial. 12,000 feet, 10,000 feet, nine, and I don't see nothing but just snow in the window like this. You know, it's just, you can't even see out the window, right? And it's going down and down and down. I said, these motherfuckers even know where they're going. It was going low and low and low, right? And I'm looking at the fucking dial, I'm looking at the old lady, and I'm saying, I'm, dude, we're going to die. I know it. You know, and all of a sudden, the, the clouds broke, you know, like we Right, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yep. we got underneath, got right? Underneath. And all, That's when you start yeah, seeing shit. Yeah, I started, like, I started seeing shit. I'm like, you know, I was like, thank God there's a fucking building. You know, and, and we fucking, we land. It didn't even land. It just, it drops. It doesn't even land. It, it comes in and it just, just fucking bounced. Then we land. That was the fucking worst ride I ever had in my life, man. <laughs> I rented a car. I drove back. I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking, no, no bullshit. I, I went to Hertz. I rented a fucking car. And then I kept the car for like a fucking month. They were calling me up. They, were fucking, they had the cops there. I wouldn't get the car back. I like the car. Yeah. Your Yo, lady tongue kissed We made it. I didn't think we were going to make Bro, it. Bro, she didn't say two fucking words, man. <laughs> yeah. Holy so shit. So I get up to you to come fucking starving, right? So I go meet Dave. They pick me up. You know, we're going to the town. I says, can I get a burger or something? I'm fucking starving. He goes, yeah, well, we, goes, we can go to the restaurant over here, right? I go to the restaurant. It's Vietnamese, right? Every, oh. The Vietnamese restaurant here. V the whole town's Vietnamese. I'm like, what they do? They settled over here or something? From fucking, <laughs> from fucking Vietnam after the war? That's all fine. I couldn't even get a fucking hamburger in the fucking town, right? We get back to his house. We, 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 they went to bed like nine o'clock, right? I said, that's it. That's over, right? So they got up the next, the next day I got up. They wanted me to go train this gym. His friend had a gym over there. I forget what it was. Right. So I, I, we got there late, I think. So anyway, I get to the gym and I'm fucking, the, the guy was all static that I was there, right? So I'm training on his equipment, right? I'm doing rows. So I see a rows, the whole fucking rack, right? The fucking cable snaps off. No. Right? <laughs> I'm benching, the fucking bars are bending. and this, I fucked his whole gym up, right? So, But the guy was loving it, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, that was my story for you to come. That's my boy, Jimmy the Bolt. There's no. I got a million fucking what stories, the hell but you know. Fucking globe, though. Oh yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> if you if you guys really you know what happened was you know a true story. You know I lost my mom a couple of years ago, right? So I was devastated. So I started like, you know, I started like soul searching, you know, I said, there's got to be something more to life. You know, I, I started like getting into like DNA and subatomic particles and atoms, you know, then I started getting to CERN, the particle collider up in Switzerland. You ever hear that? You probably didn't. No. So anyway, you know, they're looking for like, just, like, you know, they're looking for the God particle. I'm I saying, started, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I love Craig though. No, yeah, I love yeah, you know, you know, you never heard of it? Nah, I never heard. But yeah, because most people right don't. Here. You know, I, I look. Yeah. I'm a researcher. I'm a, I'm an explorer by nature. I just say I've been like that all my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fucking guy. It's the right? yeah. It's the <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, right. So you know, I, I I research a lot of shit. I don't even watch TV anymore. I just research it anyway. So make a long story short, I was studying this for a long time. How particles and atoms act different when they're observed and not observed. It's a whole big thing, right? So all of a sudden, I I come across this site and it says Flat Earth Society, right? <laughs> So I'm like, Flat Earth Society, what the fuck is this, right? So I click on it, watch one video, two video, three video, 100 videos, <laughs> eight months, nine months, 12 months. I'm watching all these videos. When did you come? Video. Huh? When did you come? I didn't Why come. are you watching all these anymore, videos without jerking <laughs> off? That's the only reason you watch videos. I don't come anymore, bro. I just go forever now. <laughs> so anyway, 
I'm starting to say to myself, you know what, man? I think they're right. This is this is bullshit. This this fucking ball is a bunch of crap. All right, this this guy Copernicus said it was a ball 500 years. They put this ball in a classroom 500 years ago. Okay, kids went to school with this ball in a classroom 500 years ago. So you're all right? saying the you highest know. thing that flew then was a fucking kite. The fastest thing on the fucking land was a horse. But these motherfuckers knew <laughs> that the fucking world is fucking round, spinning around the sun. Okay, uh. the earth spins at a thousand miles an hour. A 67,000 miles an hour around the sun, and the sun's flying through the fucking Milky Way at fucking 500,000 miles an hour, and the whole Milky Way is flying through space at 500 million miles an hour, okay? So, hey, you think whatever the fuck you want. So now I started, I started looking at, like, you know, mechanical things, like how the globe would work, you know, the winters, the seasons, the times, all right? So... The, even the atmosphere, you know, how, how if think about the atmosphere, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a pressurized atmosphere. You ever watch the news channel? Yeah. The whole pressure system, high pressure sure, system. Yeah. yeah, my fucking ass. Okay, <laughs> so now how could you have a high pressure, low pressure, uh, 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 atmosphere system on a ball that's suspended in fucking a vacuum of space? Okay, and it don't just drift off the fucking planet. How the hell is that possible? A gas has to be Valid contained. Point, yeah. Okay, yeah, so right. so my yeah. one thing now, because it goes on and on and on, you know, <laughs> water's curving over the ocean. That's a bunch of bullshit. You know, gravity's a bunch of crap too. It's all right, you know. It goes on and on, and you just can't learn about. Uh, that's about that's a warming. fucking hoax too. So now, here, <laughs> all right. So here, like, I'm gonna do one fucking little experiment. All right, and you can say whatever you want. And you can make up a million stories because that's what the scientists do. They'll throw millions and billions of numbers at you. First, they said the, the sun was fucking 10 million miles away. Then 10 years later, they said it was 15 miles away, 15 million miles. Now it's up to 93 million miles away, the sun. <laughs> How the fuck do they know that? Right? These, motherfuckers are taking, <laughs> these motherfuckers are taking pictures now. I don't know if you notice on the internet. All right, They got pictures of galaxies and fucking faraway planets. Right, The fucking Hubble telescope took a picture of a fucking galaxy that's fucking 100 million thousand fucking light years away. What are, how did they take a picture of something that's 100 million thousand light? When at 1969, President Nixon made a phone call from the Oval Office to the fucking moon to congratulate the guys for landing on the moon. 1969 from his office. He said, hey guys, I want to tell you, you did a great job. Thank you for landing on the fucking moon. I can't even get service in my car in fucking science. These motherfuckers made a phone call. Up to the fucking moon in 1969. All right, that's bullshit. <laughs> all right, so here's a simple fucking experiment. All right, all right let's see. Hey, you do whatever the fuck you want. You do whatever you want. I tell you right now, everybody's indoctrinated, and you're living in a fucking in a false pretense. Okay. Oh my so god. So here we go. This is <laughs> what the jerk quiet, offs bro. tell you. Okay. The sun, the Earth is on a 23 degree point. <laughs> Access, okay? So here's the sun right here in the center of the bullshit solar system, okay? Oh, no, so sorry, here's bro. the sun, okay? Go on, I want to see this. The summertime, this, the, we, we we're 23.4 degrees it, tilt, whatever okay? Whatever you say. So <laughs> as the sun is, you know, as the earth is spinning around and it goes around the sun, it takes 365 days to go around the, the solar sun, right? Yes. Yeah. It spins at a thousand miles an hour. And when it goes on the other side of the sun, it's leaning away from the sun. That's what makes the winter. Right. That's what these assholes tell you, right? Okay. <laughs> so now my one question is, here we are. Here's the sun. Okay. So make like this magazine stand is the sun. Okay. Right. Here's the summertime. <laughs> Lee Priest is okay? the sun. Here's Long Island. <laughs> here's, here's New York. Right? 12 o'clock in the day. Yes. Okay. 12 hours later, it's 12 midnight. 24 hour day, right? Right. Uh, 12 noon. 12 at night, right? Right. Now, mm -hmm. does your, let me ask you a question. Does your watch ever change? I don't have a watch. Well, whatever. Your phone, whatever. Yeah, your yeah, clock, yeah. your Google clock. What the yeah. fuck do you use? <laughs> so, let me ask you a question, right? Yeah, Every day you get up, oh, you get fuck. up at 6, 5, whatever the fuck time you get up, right? You get up and then you go to bed. And you get up, you go to bed. Now, that happens all year round, right? Now, summer and winter, all right, sun gets a little dark a little early, a little later, whatever. Yes, we know that, okay? But, the time don't change. So every day, six o'clock, you take a shit, you have dinner, you go to bed, <laughs> you get up the next morning, and this just goes on and on and on. As the sun, as the earth goes around the fucking sun, okay? That's what, the time don't change. All right? Follow me. Go ahead. <laughs> 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock midnight. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock midnight. Six months fucking later, you're still on the same fucking spot on the earth unless you travel for a living. I don't know. But so say we're in New York, right? <laughs> Here's the sun. So now in the winter, okay, you're on the same fucking spot, okay? 
So let's go here in the winter. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 12 midnight. How could that be? How could you be 12 midnight in the winter over here if you take this ball and you just put it over here in the summer, it's 12 in the afternoon. But in the winter, it fucking, it's 12 at night over here, because six it, months later. Because the earth goes further from, it doesn't really rotate around the sun. Craig, it's, Craig, it, Craig, it goes, Craig. It goes out like that. Listen to me, it doesn't it's matter. Horrible. Listen, the sun hits the, the, the earth, right? Right. When you're here in the fucking summer, use your fucking head. <laughs> you're over here. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Six months fucking later. I don't care if the bull's fucking over there. Okay? You're still yeah. in the same fucking spot six months later. But now it's night. It's midnight okay. in the winter. So how does the fucking time swap? Because the earth is rotating, though. Right? Yeah, but then here it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. But in the summertime... It's 12 midnight. Your, clock, your fucking clock don't do that. It's swapping six months later. You follow me? So it's midnight here. In the winter, the ball still turning. To, <laughs> listen, you guys, I know you guys can't get this. The ball is still oh, spinning. Go ahead, yeah. The ball spins. Yes. 12, mid, 12 in the day, spinning, right? 12 yeah. at night, 12 in the day, 12 at night. The fucking ball goes around the sun six months later. It's supposed to be 12 in the afternoon over here. It's right, not, it's midnight. It's midnight, right. And it's 12 in the afternoon when it's supposed to be midnight, and it's midnight over here, but it's 12 in the afternoon. You follow me? So the time, it, it, it flip-flops. Uh -huh. It's impossible. So what's the fucking outcome then? The outcome is that whatever this place that we live in, this is a fucking, this ball is a fucking complete lie. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And there's a million other proofs. I'm not going to get into it tonight because it goes on and on and on. I, I could go, I could, I could say a hundred different things. I'll tell you what, that just blew my mind. And I think Joe wants to go to a commercial at this very moment. HotStuffNutritionals.com. That's right. Remember hot stuff from the late 80s, early 90s, all over the Weeda magazines. That stuff was flying off the shelves, and for good reason. The stuff was great. My buddy Paul sent me a can of the banana flavor, and I immediately had flashbacks of using that stuff when I was younger. HotStuffNutritionals.com. That's right. Great great Remember hot stuff from the late 80s, early I 90s. I love it. All over the Weeda magazines. That stuff was flying off the shelves, and for good reason. High quality. Great. Way My buddy Paul sent me a can with of six banana thousand. flavor, and I immediately had flashbacks of using testers. that stuff when I was young. They also have and a lot of other thing stuff on hot stuff. Great. 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 Remember memories. Razor Cuts? I they love it. Your testosterone potential. Yeah, they got, they got that around still. Grams, but they have also a added a bunch quality, of things to their whey and line. milk protein. DHEA, BCAAs, pre-workouts, pre-18, and even Glandol, which we did a test boost. Product review they also on have a lot of other stuff on hot Definitely stuff something you want to check out. Remember, a lot of people cuts overlook and up your gas those ads. Yeah, and they, they got them around still, but they, they have also added so a bunch of things. Make sure you check off find your friends on. out at hotstuffnutritionals.com. Free workout, free 18, and even Glandol, which we did a product review on not too long ago. Definitely something you want to check out. A lot of people overlook and glance when they use this type of stuff. Make sure you check off on your friends out at HotStuffNutritional.com. Greg, I gotta tell you, bro. I can't even fucking breathe with this fucking thing on. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. UnbrokenDesigns.com. This is a 40-pound weight vest. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're not supposed to hit me All with I it. If I was running up and down stairs right now, I would be getting a great workout in. But you got to check these guys out. They got these, uh, actually, they knee, they knee sleeves, but we're just fucking around. Because if I had them on my knee, you couldn't see them so good. But they got these fucking weight belts. They got everything for men and women. For you ladies out there, you got knee sleeves, weighted vests, belts. They got jewelry and greeting cards even. They got some cool stuff. It's not just all of this gym stuff. In the vest, the 20, 30, and 40 pounds. Stars and Stripes 40 pounds is the one I'm wearing right now. There's keychains, pendants, leather, and Velcro belts, which is the leather. All different designs. UnbrokenDesigns.com. They got some really, seriously, no oh, bullshit. All this side. This is a Jimmy the Bull powerlifting would fucking love Jimmy that. Jimmy the Bull would fucking love this. Check these guys out. UnbrokenDesigns.com. Tom, you heard it here first. Hey, stop over to Hollister, California. The brick and mortar location for pumpedupfitnessnutrition.com. But they are expanding, folks. They're opening up more brick and mortar locations. But you also can order off their website and go over and say hi to my buddy Robert Engel Jr. 
Robert, those videos you've been posting, I'm laughing my ass off. I love it. Great stuff going on. Check out the videos on their Instagram page, also their website. Of course, they carry Muscle Sport Mag columnist Rich Piana's own 5% nutrition supplement line. 5150 pre-workout, kill it pre-workout, all day you may, supplements in addition to food, mentality for that mental edge, liver and organ defender, this is if you're on cycle, off cycle, never did a cycle, you got to worry about what's going on inside your body folks, create 10, 10, 10 different blends of creatine in this, and of course, real food, Rich loves real food, he tells you to buy real food, and he means not just real food, but also a supplement is called real food. He wants you to buy both because you can sprinkle real food in your real food. It adds calories, it adds nutrients, it's great stuff. Make sure you check out all of their products at pumpedupfitnessnutrition.com. This is Jerry Ward from Vital Street Training and Primeval Labs. And this is the Greg and Joe Muscle Sport TV Show Bicep Network. And welcome back. Holy fuck, bro. Jimmy the Bull, fuck, I, bro, I'm fucking sweating, I'm fucking crying. But we got Jimmy I'm still the trying to figure out that fucking thing fucking world. The, the world goes round and round. Holy but Christ. hey, you know what? We got Jimmy the Bull still here, but we also got four fucking hours. She took to fucking get here, so I feel like four. a bad. I feel like shit. <laughs> Tina La Titan you got Wilson. Right. She's a NPC beautiful women's Thank physique. You. Competitor, I, I, before we get started, I, you gotta stand up and show with a fucking outfit. I'm I making, dress up. It's a good day. I'm making That's fucking nice rain over here. Jimmy, how's her ass? Show the show, right. the, show the tattoos. Jimmy, Jimmy, how's that ass? Show the tats. Beautiful. Now look at that. She got fucking tats on her back on her fucking yeah, tricep. I'm a little bit of a wild child. Uh, we like wild children. <laughs> Wait, your physique? Right? Yeah, I'm women's physique. Yeah, she looks good. She's Twenty-eight got the body years Thank young. You. She got the X. You know, Twenty-eight you look years look of age. Hey, shoot, eat. That's right. Uh, no, I don't ride, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> would you drive Jimmy? Like uh, Jimmy, would you ride on the back of the road? I don't ride, bitch, either, man. Yeah, she's bloody good at sports or something. She ride, you know. Right? I had a six hundred. Six <laughs> hundred. Yeah, I had a six hundred. F four I. Cool. You guys make. Why don't you guys talk? Me and Joel just. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll going on a double date. Me and Greg and you two. <laughs> there you go. My this girlfriend might like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why don't she she go with Jeff the producer? She probably already likes going. He's kind of cute, you know. Look at his biceps. He's got that Arnold type built. But anyway, yeah, Jeff's definitely the fucking uh, but, the young the young gun of this fucking crew, bro. So and she's you a and Jersey Jeff. girl. Hell yeah, Jersey, 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 Jersey the dirty Jersey. Yeah, she said she's hell yeah, the strong shape. She's strong as shape. That's my boy Bob. Bob, Bob Bottom, Jim, hell Bob. yeah. Actually, Bob is the Bob one who recommended her. Yeah. yeah. So Bob, if you're watching, thank you, Bob. Hey, Greg, go, touch Bob. base with Bob Bottom and says we need a fucking wild girl for this fucking opening <laughs> segment, <laughs> opening they show. They picked the right girl. It's the hair. And Bob said, Psh, Tina. So <laughs> the first, <laughs> the first thing he did was message me, and he's like, "Shit, T, you got to get on this show. You'd be perfect for it." So. So yeah. we want to talk about skinless chicken, how many sets and reps you know. I was going to say, no, what the no, fuck? No, no. Jimmy, Jimmy's over here. Let me take care of this. We want to oh, I was just saying to myself, oh, shit. There we no, go. fuck that. No, we'll leave that to fucking M. Day to talk about. <laughs> we'll leave that to fucking M. Day to talk about that. Out, you know. We'll do the in the trenches with Tina. No, no. We want to do in the fucking sack with Tina. It'll be more fucking laughable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do in the trenches with Tina. No, no. We want to do in the fart sack with Tina. It'll be more fucking like it here. Get the Tupperwares. Cut the fucking chicken up. With yeah, the no brown way. rice, not white Smelly rice. Smelly tilapia. No, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, tilapia, meal. it's like fucking bacala. You know, when, I was at, when I was at the Boutini, you know, I used to be at the Metrics booth all day long, you know, and people said, oh, what are you eating? I said, I have a protein bar, I take a shake at 3 o'clock, you know. All, right, so anyway, make a long story short, I don't want to take up the time. So I used to get so tired of answering the same fucking questions, right? Like how many reps I do, what, what do I eat, how do we regiment my meals? So at the end of the day, people used to come to me. They go, yo, boy, what are you eating? This is like 4 or 5 o'clock, almost like the end of the your convention, right? Actually, you know what I eat, motherfucker? I eat a fucking cheeseburger, <laughs> fucking hot dog, fucking six fucking beers, pizza, all right? And I shoot fucking steroids. <laughs> How about that? I like it. Wait. Wait. Everybody in the booth was laughing because that's what the fuck they do. I like it. I like when people ask, do you work out? And I, there was a kid at Wawa. He was like 17 years no, old. I got stung by goes, a lot of bees. No, 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 no. He's like, do you, do you work out? And I say, no, I just eat people that do. Uh, and he was like, he was like, what? Now, if you say that to a chick, I'm fucking shooting loads in my pants. Straight now, up, man. Let me, let me ask you, are, are you single? Me? Yes. You are. Yes, I'm you, single. I, you, you, you like guys, right? Oh fuck yes. Okay. <laughs> only, only, oh only God guys. Damn it. <laughs> fuck. There you go. <laughs> what, what about Another guys? One. What about like a, an older guy that drives a Harley? 
<laughs> she looks at I'm, me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Jimmy, you're single, aren't you? No, I'm not. You're not single? No. He's no. married to the sport. I'm not married. Married to the sport? No. I'm oh, I thought you were in. Oh, okay, I fucked that up. Sorry. <laughs> Joe, strike two. Joe, you ask the questions. Show you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got guys walking up to you asking to you like stupid questions like that. But what's like, do, do guys get intimidated when they see you like in a club or a fucking bar or some shit like that? No, but I remember you had said in um, one of the videos that I watched that guys are more attracted to you than the girls. I think girls are more attracted to me because they want to figure out how I get the muscle. And you were talking about that same thing in one of yeah. your videos. Like, you were thinking, oh, these girls are going to think I'm hot, blah, blah, blah. And then all the guys are like bum rushing you. Look, it's the same thing with girls. I'm like, I'm straight. I'm straight. You know what You know what she means, Jimmy? Because Jimmy's looking at me like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what, what she means is like, and I know you know this is it had to happen to you. When I used to go to clubs, right, I'd be super fucking jacked. And there'd be another guy who's into working out, and he could be with the hottest girl. And he mush his girl in the face, go, oh shit, dude. Look, I just fell off the fucking table. He, he push his girl in the face. He's, he's working in the rental studio. studio. Dude, I'm knocking a fucking background down. Listen, he so push excited. his girl in the face. This is what she means. He mush his girl in the face to come over to me and go, yo, dude, what do you do? Like, you work out, right, like, dude, yeah. what are you taking? Yeah, right. You know, the guy's, meanwhile, his girlfriend's yeah. all hot and she's kind of standing in the background. Yeah. You know what I mean? Looking at me while her, her man's like, you know, almost like sucking my dick because I worked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So she's saying chicks will go to her, right? Yeah. Like, oh my God. You know, their boyfriends are just standing there like scratching their balls. With, uh, the with boyfriend's the fucking like, pinching the helmet fucking. thinking about their girlfriend I, getting so fucking So you got a lot of girls admiring you is what you're saying because they want to look like you or... or Go ahead. And I'm and I'm waiting for like a I guy to come up, but guys won't work out with me. Like I lift like a dude. So girls won't lift with me, but they'll they'll bum rush me to ask me how I got my muscle. But then guys would they won't lift with me because when I deadlift four oh five they're like uh, they feel like a jerk. Yeah, exactly. They're doing they're fucking like, 135. So or they some think shit. I'm gonna like take them on in bed or something. Like I'm gonna kill them or something. Like it's it's very difficult to find that, well, that fine line. No. <laughs> I mean, to that's a perfect to segue for my next question. Now, <laughs> Jimmy, you sure you're still single? <laughs> <laughs> now, my next question, Tina, is let's fuck the gym. Let's talk about the bedroom now. Okay. Uh oh. Being in shape like that isn't it much fucking better as far as for fucking and all of that good stuff. Yeah, if you're getting in in return. <laughs> yeah, but let's just say you you were a guy that's also fucking jacked and juice and doesn't that work to your advantage, both these, as far as screwing around does? I I mean, yeah, there's the stamina factor. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a big factor of it. But if they're taking shit, it's like, it's very frustrating for the female. Why? I, oh, my God. Oh, Why? It's better than Viagra. I, no, uh, um, there's so many guys that don't know what the F well, they're wait, doing. Well, there's a problem And then you're like, you get to the moment and you're like, or let me ask you a question. <laughs> okay, do you I prefer, it, yeah. like, if you would meet a guy, do you prefer a guy to be a bodybuilder or not? Or do you prefer to date the average guy? To, like, the bodybuilding's my thing, and you, you know, you stay, you know what I mean? Like, in other oh. words, <laughs> the bodybuilding's your thing, and let the guy be just an average guy or something. You know I know like, I, mean? I like bodybuilding guys. I don't like the huge guys, but the problem with the bodybuilding thing is there's that ego. There's right. that like macho is the right, bullshit. He's too into it. Yeah, and it's and it's almost like a competition. And with a normal guy, um, they don't they don't have an ego attached to it. So it's it's nice to have that compliment. It's funny you say that because when I used to go to the shows and I was there with bodybuilders all fucking day, I couldn't wait to get the fuck out. Oh. Of They're annoying as shit. Right. So oh I, used to, I used to I used to go with a friend of mine. We used to go into town and go to the regular bars, to hang out with regular people because mm -hmm. I didn't want to be around these fucking guys all day long. And they used to have uh, Greg Teddy used to have those after hour parties. I've been. And you know what? I, I was yeah. there. I was in the yeah. middle of that whole thing between him and Kim King Kamali. Yeah. They were gonna fight, and I was I, like. I heard that story. So I never used to go to the bodybuilder party. Why would I want to go to a bodybuilder party after being in the in the convention center all day long with bodybuilders? You know, want to fucking hang yourself. You know, and yeah. talk about weights and protein oh, and this and that. I just wanted to go get a fucking beer with the fucking yeah, and exactly. the normal people. You know. Hey, listen, hold that thought. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with Tina and Jim. Greg, you gotta check out my buddies over at GoldMetalSupplements.com. <laughs> if if it isn't a name you know already, pay attention. You want to remember this name, goldmetalsupplements.com, Gregorio. If you're into bodybuilding, fitness, health, you need to know this name, Gold Metal Supplements. Remember it, write it down, use it! It should be your secret weapon to making great gains. That's the new word, gains. And reaching your personal best in whatever you do. They're a longtime industry leader in making highly effective bodybuilding, fitness, and health products, specifically for muscle building, 
fat loss, performance enhancement, and general health. Their products are second to none in performance and effectiveness and price and should be in the bodybuilding and fitness arsenal of every serious athlete. Go to goldmedalsupplements.com today. You got to check out our buddies over at Get Big or Die Trying. It's gbdtclothing.com. Say hi to our friend Damian Martin over there. Manufacturers of quality hardcore gym wear, men's medium through 3XL. Ladies, small, medium, or large, t-shirts, tank, sleeveless, hoodies, two-sided apparel, gbdtclothing.com. Pulling off a successful fitness event can make you feel like you're completely out of shape. You spend dozens of hours registering athletes, processing fees, managing sponsors, organizing exhibitors, coordinating volunteers, scheduling the program, ordering t-shirts, managing finances, organizing venue, manually scoring, you think you're running your event, but your event is running you. It's time to take back control by evolving your event management methods with FitSquid.com. FitSquid.com makes preparing, publishing, and handling registration for your event a breeze by automating everything from website creation to athlete registration, reporting, and scoring. How does it work? FitSquid.com and your attendees do the work for you. Our event builder makes it easy for you to set up an attractive and interactive event listing that becomes an online hub for your event. Competitors, exhibitors, and spectators can all register online, and you can ditch the spreadsheets. Simply click icons to produce everything, from check-in lists to sales summaries and detailed reports. Imagine automatically generating badges, registration reports, revenue detail, labels, schedules, and much more. Scores from your event automatically calculate and post to your event website. When it's time for the next event, just click duplicate and you're ready to go. Plus, for every event you create, you get an instant web app that your attendees can use to get up to the minute bulletins, vote on questions, and much more. More athletes, less work. Post your free listing today and get your events back into shape. Greg, T. Michael's been around forever. These are the guys that have been around since the 80s. T. Yes, T. M. I. C. H. E. A. L. dot com. It's not the common spelling of T. Michael. They got everything on their site, especially these great shirts here, these big sweatshirts. They got Auto Mix, Powerhouse, World Gym, NPC, Zubaz, Chic, Goals, Performance Footwear, Rider Wear, Pitbull Gym, Gorilla Wear, Max Muscle, and Spira Footwear. 3XL up into the size 3XL of their big top. Check them out. T Michael M I C H E A L dot com. Tribestinworldwide.com. Greg, our friends over at Tribestinworldwide.com have this product called TTT. It's the strongest legal testosterone booster and the world's first Bulgarian tribulus testiculin. I don't know what that means, but it's something about your balls. So it must be good. The official sponsor of Bulgarian powerlifting. It was developed over there in Bulgaria over 20 years ago. Some users report 10 pounds of lean muscle mass gains in an eight to 10 week cycle at this TTT. Free worldwide delivery, that's important. This is coming from Bulgaria. Test uh, TTT, so go to TribestinWorldwide. Hi, it's Rick Drayson, and you're watching Greg and Joe on Muscle Sport TV. And welcome back. Wow, man, we're fucking, this show has gone too quick, bro. So let, let's pick up where we left off. We got let's do it. Tina and Jimmy the Bull right here. Tina, let, let's, let's talk a little bit about more how this whole thing works as far as the guys don't know what they're doing, so what does that mean? Like they can't fucking finish off? No, <laughs> they can't get it up. Wow, it's not about finishing. So off. basically, you gotta get to that point first. Wait, have you been talking to my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> have you been opening your mouth? <laughs> so they're either doing some kind because I know some people say trend dick. It either fucking gives Deca them a dick. Decker, I know you got to offset all of this with tests. If Cabre you don't roll. stack it with tests, you you're fucked <laughs> never anyway. Heard that before. Really? If you got that, it's so common. But a lot of guys say trend gives them fucking massive hard ons. Other guys say trend gives them fucking like deca deck. So to me, if if you're not using test, it doesn't work. That's why you know what? You got to stack it. Alice at the house. Prolactin. Yeah, prolactin. Yeah, yeah. Get cable going. Get mm -hmm. cable going. See, I, I never had that problem. You know what? Because my whole career, out. I did fucking <laughs> testosterone, Anadrol, then you're fine. Sustenon. You're fine. My shit could go through a sheetrock wall. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I never had a problem. This shit, the wind would blow. This fucking shit was getting hard, right? Look, but like, you, you know, if I was on a fucking bus and, the, and, and it was good, I couldn't stand up because I had a heart on just from the, the bus fucking vibrating. I was, <laughs> that shit, man, you know, I was out of my mind on fucking testosterone. My girlfriend, when you said that, she just sat up like. I don't even <laughs> like fucking. I don't even like Decker. <laughs> But you know what's even better though? Fuck fucking dude. girls get fucking testosterone clit. Uh, That's the fucking best part of it. It's fucking sense. It's just like a cock gets hard. The yeah. clit. I was fucking whacking off to a Denise Messino video this morning, and it was fucking <laughs> like, bro, it was like a thumb down there. <laughs> Wait, it's fucking beautiful. You saw Denise Messino's clit in a video. Oh, in person. What video was that? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> I'll send you all the links. You mean like they they have porno war videos? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. See, I'm out of the loop. I, oh, I you got to get back around, in it then, know. Jim. I, I've been out of the loop, you know. In yeah. He, no, I'm telling you, I don't watch that <laughs> shit. You got porn on your phone? What are you talking? About? <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all changed now, brother. Uh, I'm on a whole new life, a whole new way you. A whole new way. Real life. So the so if they the use in the wrong stuff, running. they can't get it up. So yeah. that so not that that's got to fucking blow it your whole it. fucking ugh. Oh, that's terrible. It kills it. So then, what do you do? You got to take care of her on your own. I, now. I take care of it. Why do you think I have a box of stuff? Yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> so, I gotta interrupt. See now, back in the day, I never had that kind of a problem, right? Because the stuff was real. So if I was a bodybuilder today and I couldn't get my shit hard, I'd be off that fucking shit in a minute. You wouldn't be a bodybuilder. That's right. I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, my dick ain't working. Fuck this fucking it's not career worth it, bullshit. Yeah. These guys are too I, involved know. in their own, like, doing, like, pec muscles and the mirror and shit. They care yeah, about that shit. That's, when they do their see, that's fucked up, you know? That's that's why I don't really... I'm kind of out of the industry. Yeah. I, I don't, the old days the old days was... Not because of the cock, just because of just where it's going. Because you know? of the cock. Just the whole... <laughs> you know, where the whole thing is going, it's just getting crazy. You know, it's like... It ain't like back in the old days. You know what I mean? You know yeah. Too? yeah. Body Very body different. lazy in bed, too. Do you they, find, they're too tired What do they do? They want you to do all the work, want, right? They want us to do all the work. Right. And I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm let, let me ask you a question, though. Do you get a lot of girls hitting on you? Yeah. you know, that... Oh. He's big also in this industry. So right? I cut my hair and I shaved it on the side. Uh -huh. I was doing the whole like midlife crisis Rihanna thing. <laughs> and <laughs> and I was and that's when I first started getting a physique. So I'm lifting heavy weights. I got this haircut and all of a sudden these girls were like And no. I'm, I'm petting me and I'm like <laughs> I do not like that. <laughs> not even for an experiment. I did it once. <laughs> I, Keep and going. I, and Keep I am going. straight as an arrow. <laughs> Keep going. I, I, we, I, we, we, we just hit the fucking crescendo no, right there. I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not into that shit. At no, all. It's I don't. Just, I don't. You like, mm -hmm. like, team is a lot of What the fuck is wrong with this guy? You don't like watching two women. I don't like seeing two women. I like to keep them for myself. What about you? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not Let me tell you something. You're old school. I'm not a, yeah, I'm old, old school, man. Yeah. It's a hat. Yeah. It's a hat. I, I like the one-on-one. -on -one, you know, if I had the opportunity to watch see, Tina you know. and this girl, I would be sitting in yeah. the corner of the room wearing a leather diaper, shaking around. Don't, do don't do nothing. Okay? okay? Although, that's, that's all. I wouldn't even. That's that I've seen. Leather diaper, shaking yeah, baby they're, fetishes. They're baby fetishes. Talk about this time with the young lady. Let's see it. Just give me a little. Just throw, no, a, throw ex, a fuck a few seeds out there. My ex wanted that for his birthday, so I was like, "What the hell? Why not?" Like, give it. It's a, my birthday tonight. Yeah, give it. A, <laughs> serious? Oh, it's really? my birthday. Are you serious? Is your Lucia, birthday? get the fuck in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Wait, I was like, uh... <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. So you you obliged? Yeah. How was it? I it was it sucked. I backed out. I was like, I like I do not like. No. So did, did I do not like kitty cat? What did he now, give you for your birthday? Um. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nada. But he was a bodybuilder, too. So, like I said, like, they're just lazy. I'm telling you, if you're going to date a bodybuilder, he should be about 56 <laughs> turning 57. <laughs> driving a Harley Davidson and wearing a little hat. Insert segue. And again. he likes Metallica. <laughs> and he got, like, maybe somebody who likes Metallica. And he can play the guitar, too. You got to hear this guy. The piano. Let me teach you. He's serenading. And the piano. He's, He's serenading. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. serenading. He does. He's Jimmy is the fucking Jimmy's man. I'm bro. Italian. There's the man, full book. Pelletia, come on, that's the, he's, he's, he's the bull. Yes, he's the, the bull. bull. There's and no he ain't bull. full of fucking I bull. That, you know, I, I worked on that name there for a while. You, you know, know, you know, you fuck with the bull, you don't just get you the get horns, the, you get the bull. You get the bull, man. <laughs> you get the whole you fucking thing. You heard about day. that fucking ride he had on the goddamn, on the bus, when it was going up and down, right? <laughs> <laughs> didn't take much. Huh? Didn't take much. <laughs> it don't take much. Yeah. You see? Now, you can't, you know, first of all, what kind of, you know, bodybuilders, you know, they're selfish guys most of the time because mm -hmm. that's what they're so into working out. And then, especially young guys, say with the f Facebook pictures and the, you know, the Instagram. Oh, yeah, they didn't have that shit when we were young, right, Jimmy? No. So that's why you got to date a guy that don't, you know, even it's just into keeping himself in shape, but not some guy that wants to compete. You're the girl. You're the, you know, 
You yeah, but saying? most guys most guys don't want to date me if they're not into it in general because I intimidate well, you're them. Actually, and I'm heavier than them. Yeah, but you know what? You, you know what? <laughs> they're like, uh, they get up on the scale and we're comparing notes and I said, shit, now. <laughs> no, I mean, as much a, as they do. You have a pretty face, though. You're, you're a pretty girl. It's Thank not like, you. You know, it's not like, you know, it's just a body. I think some guys are intimidated because maybe the body, but you're a pretty girl. A lot of these girls... The steroids, uh, steroids yeah. fucking work. Like that that just goes back to like for me, like you know, I'm old school, like you said. So I, I, I if I like somebody, I like the person, the personality. You know, I, no, I don't go by. Oh, the person. So you know, if, if a girl's big <laughs> or she's built, I don't get intimidated. If I like the girl, it. you know, sure, and, yeah. and I appreciate what she does, that's cool. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say, oh my god, she's big, I can't be with her. I can't no, walk out of the street next. Oh my god, her arm is bigger than mine. That's a fucking jerk. That's an asshole. And most yeah. guys, <laughs> I, I tell you the truth, I get a lot of bodybuilders who are like, their first question: What do you want? What are you running? Like that's what, like that's the com. Who gives a this, fuck? Exactly. We were or not, or weren't? Who cares? Well, how are you that strong? You say, are you, are you, are you paying for it? <laughs> if you are you paying for it, <laughs> then I will tell you what the fuck I'm doing. Hey, you go go get it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, a lot of that's that's what I used to get in fucking bar. Guy, Mush's girlfriend, who's like a Playboy playmate. I face, come over to me. Too, Yo, what are you I doing? never got that. Me? Jeff, you got get that? Because I never fucking got it. Jeff's I got to me in an elevator one He's time. Fucking, I was in the Mandalay Bay it. downstairs. Uh -huh. Some guy runs over to me, right? I was with my girlfriend at the time. And she, he goes, Bull, can you mercy me, brother? Mercy me, Bull, mercy me. I'm like, what the fuck is mercy me? Man? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm from the fucking 60s and 70s. I don't know what the fuck this guy. Mercy me. When you grab the fingers and you. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Like the rest of the WWF used to do. I'm looking at my girls. Most of those guys don't mercy. mercy me. What the fuck? Is he want to give me a beating? I was slapping the door, down the elevator shift. What the fuck is he talking about, right? So I said, no, 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 pal. You know, so then we got in the elevator, right? And we're going up. And then, you know, Denise told me, she says, no, mercy's, you know, she showed me what mercy means. I go, that's what he wanted to do with me, you know? So we go up to the fucking fifth floor, the elevator opens, the motherfucker's standing there. He's waiting for he you. He went up the stairs. And he's like, boo, come on, man. I uh. said, yo, dude, now you got to get the fuck out of my way. You know, right? <laughs> Because the way you came up is the way you're going to go down. <laughs> down fucking stairs. Just, just Head first, motherfucker. That's right. You just won't I'll fucking mercy you, you motherfucker. You won't stand on any of those steps. You'll go five floors <laughs> through the air. I'll show you how the Chinese do it. <laughs> how the ISIS does it. No, oh, that's man. some shit. That's so some shit. They, yeah, so you, mercy. So maybe you better yeah, look for guys that like, you know, aren't into bodybuilding. It's, you know I mean? it, it would be better for me. But anytime, like I went on Match.com. <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> oh, really? Shit. So I went on three dates for Match.com, and my profile picture is, you know, from here up. So obviously, no, I'm kind of built, sure, right? Sure, you can just show so yeah, you can tell. I go in, and, they, you know, we have common interests. We go to the gym. Them going to the gym is like casual, like two or three times a week. Planet I'm, fitness. Yeah, it's yeah. like my <laughs> arm is the size of their legs, and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> like, I can't. I, I can't. No. I can't do anything. So like you're that. kind of fucking pigeonholed into exactly. like guys that are jacked. Because I don't want to deal with the fucking ego. Or you gotta, you gotta, I, you gotta know stay what? away from Lord Farquaad. Go out. <laughs> you gotta go out. The guys got a little, little bit of a build. You know. I dated a bodybuilder who couldn't even tie his fucking shoe. I'm like, because he's like, because <gasps> well, he was Alfred in his off season. That's a guy like that gonna have sex? Exactly. Dude, he's out of breath. The fucking. Bro, I was like, I was like that. I was too seven. I couldn't breathe. I'd be in a movie theater and the girl I was with at the time would be like, what the fuck is with that? And I'm like, what? And I'm breathing like, <laughs> like Alfred Hitchcock and shit. Yeah. Dave Palumbo used to tell me the same thing when he was, when he was like 310 pounds. You know, you're breathing like, you know, you can't even tie your shoe. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to take your shoe off, you tie it and then you try to slip it back on. on. <laughs> shit. No, uh, 275 pounds. I'm almost like 5'6". 275 is a lot of weight. Height. Yeah. yeah it's ridiculous. It was all on his arms. I'm not like that now. Yeah. No, it I was, was on his over. arms. I was all over. I mean, you can't even... Half the weight was no good. So we're going to need to do a fucking love connection with Tina because she can't find a bodybuilder that she likes and she can't find a non-bodybuilder that sure. she likes. So she's kind of stuck in the middle. Let's so. step it back, Joe. She don't want a fucking show, bodybuilder. Dude. dude, that should be our next All right? Show. Maybe we'll try to do a fucking... We'll get a date for you on the next show. We'll do we'll two submissions... Guys got to send in their pictures Pick and shit. The real yeah, game we'll show. We'll do a fucking dating yeah, game. Yeah. The real we'll, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real, 20, not that that's twenty years ago. We'll, no, no, no. We'll do like a fucking. Do we'll do a. <laughs> we'll Send do a. Picture, you go, this girl's gorgeous. Then you go meet her at the dining. We'll what do the, the dating game. Where is she? Bro, I where is she? Right. Then the, 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 the girl goes, "Come over here." I'm like, look at There's one qualification that I have. What? You name it. If they have the hanger complex, it's a no go. Hanger. What's the hanger? Oh, with the shirt. Yo, if they're talking shirt? like this, they don't have legs. No, no douchebag shit. No douchebag no douche shit. I don't want to. I don't want the Jersey fist pumpers. No, <laughs> that's what ain't gonna happen. I'm from Jersey, but start sending in your submissions. <laughs> Tag us on any social media at Muscle Sport Mag on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Send us your fucking picture. Tell us you want to date Tina, and don't send any cock shots. Detroit, no, no, no dick pics, please. If you send, we don't want Anthony Weiner fucking shit here. We want <laughs> and you fucking gotta be legit. single. You gotta be single. Yeah, yeah no, don't, don't fuck marry, around. Don't, don't, don't that and I gotta tell you, if she picks you, she likes you. Us three are going to your fucking house. We're gonna, inter <laughs> we're gonna interview you first. <laughs> You All better right. be nice before you even get to meet her. Yeah. We got your three older fucking brothers here. Three guinea older brothers. Hell yeah. There you go. We're all gonna be wearing the same fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> no feather though, no feather. <laughs> I don't shine shoes anymore. Nobody went up there and told you anything, Billy. We're gonna do the dating game. We're gonna yeah. do the dating game next show. Hey, let's do a quick break. We'll be right back to wrap this one up. Battle Juice, the advanced intro workout from Advanced Genetics. Battle Juice annihilates other intro workouts with a fast digesting formula loaded with ingredients to build muscle and burn fat. A full 50 gram dose of quality carbohydrates for energy, 10 grams of essential amino acids loaded with electrolytes for strenuous workouts, and 2,000 milligrams of Hydromax per serving, it will leave you wanting for nothing. For more information on Battle Juice, visit agarmy.com. You guys got to check out heydayfootwear.com. That's hey, H-E-Y, day, D-A-Y, footwear.com. They got the design-driven and independent sneaker brand for the freshest in fitness worldwide, Gregorio. Designed, produced, and sold directly to the consumer. Performance high-top sneakers for the freshest bodybuilders and athletes who live the gym lifestyle. Make sure you tell my buddy Darren Hager over at heydayfootwear.com. You heard it here first on Muscle Sport TV. Changing the world, one breath at a time. Get yours at trainingmask.com. You guys got to check out our buddy over at Pro Supplements. Greg, now I got to be a little coy with this one. Please do. All products have been tested for the highest quality and purity. One-stop shop for all your domestic anabolic Ooh. SARMs and peptide needs. <laughs> you got to send this email to one of these two email addresses and you'll get all the info on the product list that you want. ProAAS at Tutanoa.com. That's T U T A N O T A.com. Or ProAAS at Proton Mail. P R O T O N M A I L.com. Check M A L E. No, not M A L E. Make sure you check them out and tell them that you heard it here first on Muscle Sport TV. Everybody's on peptides now, guys. Get your shit together. Check them out. Send them an email and bye. Hey, guys. My name is Rich Fixin. I have BB Pro Bodybuilder. I'm watching Muscle Sport TV. You can check out my blog on ripvixen.com. And that's going to do it for us tonight on the pilot episode of Greg and Joe TV on the Muscle Sport TV Network. I want to thank, of course, my partner in crime, Gregorio, Greg Valentino, <laughs> Tina La Titan Wilson. Give out your website, your Instagram, whatever. Go ahead. Tina underscore LA underscore Titan for Instagram and Tina La Titan Wilson on Facebook. Jimmy the Bull Palaccia. Jimmy, you got anything you want to give out? You got a, a website or anything? You don't give that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we're going to be doing that fucking dating game thing with Tina. We're going to hook her up with some So if any nice of you guys, guys. want to sponsor this, any fucking cheap fucking <laughs> supplement company motherfuckers with all Get your out money, it. let's go. Fucking throw the money down. You're going to love it. We need three guys. Send in your submissions why you want to date me. The Titan. You're also, taking that on. Also, that on. also, we need other sponsors. We need Jack Daniels. <laughs> Trojan condoms. 
me to get through the date. Wait, 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 wait. For me to get through the date. You're the guy who just said if anybody touches you on the first date, they're going to get to rest it. Yeah, right. so what are you saying condoms for? Oh, that's for us. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't want to hit you with a pill later. Uh, <laughs> Guys, thanks know. for joining us tonight. We want to thank all our sponsors for tonight's thank episode you. and, of course, the future episodes. Check us out every day on MuscleSportMag.com and on this special Muscle Sport TV YouTube website channel. Thanks also to Jeff, the producer. Yo. Part of the fucking team now, motherfucker. Yeah. We'll see you guys on the next show coming up very soon. Full schedule will be out for all three programs. Take it easy. Oh.